and welcome. To, this is your first time of seeing me uh, with actually not seeing me. You're going to just see my pen roaming around here, roaming all around. And we're going to start this. We're going to start this off. It's called Properties of Logs. Uh, you guys should have seen this, but if you have not, that's all right. I'll treat it like you hadn't. So here we go. All right, today you're going to use uh, the properties of logarithms to evaluate or transform logarithmic expressions. And basically what we're going to do is you're going to do some manipulations of logs. All right, in your language objective, you're going to go ahead and use mathematical language to explain the properties of logarithmic equations. So in the past, we've dealt with laws of exponents. You should be able to know at this point that if I go ahead and take x cubed and multiply it by x squared, that in your brain, you're doing x cubed plus 2, which is going to be x to the fifth. Likewise, when you did division, you should remember, oh, this is the same thing as saying, well, this is x cubed minus 2, which is then equal to x. And then we had this one over here, where x squared raised to the third power was the same thing as saying x squared times 3, which is x to the sixth power. Okay. So what are my rules of logs here? Well, my rules of logs here are saying if I have a log x times y, well, I'm going to say this is the same thing as saying log of base b of x plus log of base b of y. I wonder what it's going to be with division. Hmm, log of base b of x minus log of base b of y. Hmm, I wonder what I'm going to do with this exponent. Hmm, well, exponent means I'm going to multiply, and this is going to be p times log of base b to the uh, log of base b of x. You're going, great, I know these. Sort of, now, what do I do with them? Well, for the most part, we do algebraic manipulation of them. Because you're going to need to know these rules, not only now and for a test in a couple of weeks, but you need to know it for the, you know, for calculus. You need to be, I, I, t trust me, I've taught it, all right? You need to know these. You need to know these rules. So we're going to have lots of different types of examples, okay? So our first example is express log of 96 in terms of log of 2 and log of 3. Well... So what I do in this one is I say, well, this is going to be log. And I could break 96 into a couple of different things. I can say, well, let's see, I think it's, um, see here, if I divide by 3, so it's 3 times 32. Well, and 32, okay. And, well, well, what's 32? 32, well, this is where I'm going to cheat a little bit. And I know 32 is really 2 to the 5th power. Okay. So I want to express these in terms of log 2 and log 3s. So, what did we just figure out? Our rules said that this is now going to be equal to, I can say this is log of 3 plus log of 2 to the 5th power. But I don't want log of 2 to the 5th power, I just wanted logs of 2. So then I use my other rule, that, you know, that exponent rule. And I can now say that this is equal to log of 3 plus, oops, plus, bring the 5 over, 5 times log of 2. You're going, wow, really? Yes, really. Okay, and remember, like I said, logs are just the reverse of exponentials. This is like weird math, but it's so true, and it helps out a lot later. Let's take a look at the next example. 
It says express log of 32 over 9 in terms of log 2 and log 3. Again, I'm going to cheat and use the information I had from before, right? So this is really log of 32 is really 2 to the 5th. 3 or 9 is really 3 squared. Now I use that division rule. My division rule said it's going to be equal to log of the top one, 2 to the 5th, minus log of the bottom one, 3 squared. But I don't, again, don't want it in log of 2 to the 5th or log of 3 squared. I want it in log of 2 and log of 3. So I use my exponential rule again, 5 log 2's minus 2 log 3's gets me the same answer. And again, would you, you got to think about this. What, what had just happened? This right here is equal, which is why I got all these equal signs, to this right here. And it's mind-blowing. They don't look anything alike. Yet, that's what's going to happen. It's incredible. All right? Let's find out what's next. So this one's saying evaluate. Ooh. Evaluate means I need an answer, not just to simplify or make bigger or try to figure out, put it in, in views. I need to figure out this exactly. <sighs> Deep breaths. Okay. So what does this mean exactly? So let's take a look. So what you have to know is one step at a time. First step. Let's write this in terms of exponents. This is log base 2 of 32 raised to the 1 -third power. That's step 1, to recognize that the cube root can be rewritten as to the 1 -third power. I use my power rule that I had there, 1 -third log of base 2 of 32 is that's the same. Now this is what you have to remember about what does it mean to be a log of a certain base. This piece right here is equivalent to, now just this piece, is equivalent to saying, hey buddy, two to some unknown power is equal to 32. 2 to what power is 32? I don't know. And this is where you got to cheat and look back on the previous example. 2 to what power is 32? Oh, wait. Oh, 5. Right. So if I come over here and say, oh, 2 to the 5th power is 32, that means that log base 2 of 32 is equal to 5. So this is going to be equal to 1 third of 5 which is equal to 5 thirds. And again, you have to go, holy cow, I just figured that out. Because how amazing is this? This right here, that business right there is 5 thirds. Amazing. All right, let's try another one. Evaluate that one. Woo! Now let's talk about this real fast. What is natural log? If you don't haven't seen it before, you don't remember. Okay, natural log is the same thing as log base e. So what this is saying here is three natural log of e to the fourth minus. I'm just going to rewrite it out here. Natural log of e squared. So this right here is this part right here is saying again because my base here is e e to what power is equal to e to the fourth I'll give you a hint four good job all right so three so this right here is rewritten as 3 times 4 minus 2 times, oh, again, e to what power is equal to e squared? 
You got faster this time. Good. It's two. All right. Well, then three times four, that's 12. Minus two times two, that's four, which is equal to eight. Again, let's talk about how amazing that is. We figured this out without a calculator. <gasps> Just by knowing some properties of logs. Hmm. Let's see what's next. If I'm going too fast, you can rewind me or pause me. It's great. So now they want me to expand. Notice the word evaluate has gone away, and now I need to expand these. All right, so I'm going to use my rules. My rules say that, hey, if I multiply, 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 it's the same thing as adding, adding, adding. So I can rewrite this as the natural log of 4 plus the natural log of m cubed plus the natural log of n to the fifth. I'm not done. So can I expand this one anymore? Heck no. That's still going to be ln of 4. Plus, can I expand this one? You betcha. This 3 can come down because of that power rule. 3 ln of m. Plus, hey, same power rule. 5 ln of n. There's my expanded view. You need to know these rules intimately, which means backwards and forwards okay so now they want me to expand this one again when I do this I gotta remember what, I, what does it mean to be a quotient it means take these two things here and now I'm gonna work on the subtraction part so this is gonna be log 2x minus 3 minus log of 3 square root or fourth root of x. So I take a look at this top piece here. Can I do anything with this? No, it's subtracting and adding. It's not multiplying. We can't separate this at all. Don't even try. Never, ever try. So then the question becomes, what do I do with this right here? Well, look. There's like a little itty bitty multiplication thing that you don't see there. So I can take this part right here and I can say, oh, this is log of 2x minus 3 minus, and I can take what was there and I'm going to separate it out to log of 3 plus log. And then this right here, I don't like it being the fourth root. I want to make it x to the 1 fourth power. But wait, I can do more. This here, yeah, still can't touch that. Log of 2x minus 3 minus quantity. Log of 3 plus the 1 fourth. Oh, yeah, that power rule, 1 fourth. Log of x. There it is, all broken out. Now, in theory, you can also go ahead and you know, um, distribute the negative and do all that, but I'm not going to make you do that. That's This is perfectly normal. Notice, though, that you could not just have put minus a log 3 plus a log x. You had to put the parentheses. It would be wrong otherwise. Okay? So I come over here. Let's find out what's next. Now we're going to go backwards. We're going to do some condensing. All right, so when I condense... Hey, power rule backwards. Log base 4, x to the 1 half. Hey, power rule backwards, minus. Log base 4, x minus 2, cubed. Hey, they're the same base, and I'm subtracting? I think I see a division coming up. Log. Now I can leave this as x to the 1 half, or I can change it as the square root of x over x minus 2 cubed. Again, amazing stuff, right? This right here is the exact equivalent to that right there. That is mind-blowing, because they don't even look the same. But they are.
B. Now I need to condense this one. Again, tricky, tricky, natural log. Natural log, all it means is I'm going to have natural log, x plus 1, up to the fifth, plus, what am I going to do here? Oh, this is going to be natural log of x to the sixth. They're adding. I wonder which rule I can condense to. Look at the beginning. Look. <gasps> if you looked, it's going to be multiply. Okay. Oops. X to the sixth times x plus 1 to the fifth. And that's your answer. Next. Let's change the base formula. It says here for any positive real number. Okay, so here's the deal. On your calculator, you only have two logs. You have log, which is log base 10, and natural log, which is log base E. All right? That's all you can do. So this change of base formula comes in real handy when you try to figure out something other than a base of log base 10 or log base N or E, excuse me, which is natural log, for your calculator. So how do I do this or put this in my calculator? Excellent question. So let's see what's next. This is evaluate log six, log base six of four. So again, evaluate, they're looking for a number. All right, so I come over here. And in my calculator, this is log base six of four. Huh, so look at the, it, that expanded, that, that base formula that they just gave me. They said, oh, it's going to be log base 6 of 4 is going to be equal to log of 4 over log of 6. Now here, so again, you can put that in your calculator and I'll will shortly. Okay. I also want to mess with you a little bit. And it could be any base I want to. So if I put natural log of 4 over natural log of 6. I will get the same answer. <gasps> really? Yes. All right. So I want you to try either one of those in your calculator, and I will get you the answer here shortly. And no matter which one I chose, 0.7737 came out my answer. <gasps> Amazing. All right. So what's next? Last problem. Here it goes. So log one third of eight. Again, log of one third, log base of one third of eight. Or you can say log of eight, log no, nope, log of base log base one third of eight Whew. is equal to log of eight over log of one third. Or I can say this is the same thing as natural log of 8 over the natural log of 1 third. And you can go ahead and we'll figure that out in the calculator. Right quick. Bam! There's the answer. All right. That's it. That's what you're going to be asked to do tomorrow in class. I hope you guys come prepared by watching this. We'll find out. Good luck. God bless. See you tomorrow.